On the morning of April 20th, 1989, New York City awakened to the horrifying news. A Wall Street investment bank left for dead after a brutal attack while she was jogging in Central Park. A female jogger was clinging to life after being beaten and sexually assaulted in Central Park. The city was outraged. The police quickly arrested a group of teenagers, among them Yusuf Salam. Their trial gripped the city, their conviction seen by many at the time as justice served. Arrested at 15, you spend seven years in, in prison for a crime you did not commit, vilified in the public for years. But the title of the book is Better, Not Bitter. Not even just a smidge of bitterness. I got to tell you, I found out that a thing like forgiveness, as, as, as an example of where we can go with being able to get out of being bitter, Forgiveness is for you. It's for you to be able to surgically cut yourself from the ball and chain that is holding you back. At the beginning of the book, you, you talk about seeing the hand of God in everything yes. that happened to you. Absolutely. What do you, you mean by that? There's absolutely no way to get through any trial unless you can see the positive outlook on things. I want people to understand that it is through these kinds of trials that when you're tested, then you can testify. You have a testimony because you were able to grow through something as opposed to just go through something. You think part of your purpose in life was, was going to prison for a crime you didn't commit? Absolutely. You know, it's one of those questions where you say to yourself, if I had an opportunity to change anything, would I? But if you change anything in your past, you change everything in your future. So you do it again. You you take the fall for a crime you didn't commit. And I wouldn't necessarily say that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Salam served nearly seven years in prison. In 2002, the convictions of the Central Park Five were vacated after a serial rapist confessed to the crime. After you were exonerated, did you still feel vilified, or did oh you my feel gosh. you still absolutely? I came out of prison in, so I'm 6'3", and I'm still walking around with my head down inside because it's still not popular to say, yes, I'm one of the Central Park Five. Why are we here? Things started changing in 2012 when a documentary about the Central Park Five came out, followed by the Netflix miniseries When They See Us in 2019. I don't think we should admit to something that we didn't do. It really wasn't popular in a grand scale until the Central Park Five documentary came out where we got our voices back. And then, when they see us liberate us, we had no idea that we would be rebranded correctly as the Exonerated Five. The fact that his book is coming out during a time of upheaval across the country on the topic of criminal justice is not lost on Salam. Young people, when George Floyd was murdered, they said the system is not broken. It's operating exactly as it was designed. When you were sitting in that prison cell, knowing you had not committed this, this heinous crime, is this where you thought you would be? Honestly, I, I don't think I thought I would be here. I thought I would, I thought I would somehow get free and piece my life back together. I didn't know that when God restores what was taken from you, 100 times more than what was taken is what's given. Yusef Salam and the other members of the Central Park Five did receive a multi-million dollar settlement from the city of New York. Salam, now an author, a public speaker, even designs his own jewelry. Uh, the book Better, Not Bitter is out today. Uh, and let me tell you, right, that was one of those conversations where you mm -hmm. leave... Hmm. Inspire, like yeah. you just you. It's he, he put a lot of things in perspective uh, for me, and I think a lot of folks as well. It's not just talk either. He exudes oh, a lot yes. of grace. He lives it. It's like he in lives, every cell. He? He is, lives he, is he married? Does he have a? Yes, yeah. he's he's married. He's he's got kids. Lives down in Georgia. Right. Uh, you know, somewhat happily ever after to a certain extent, yeah. I guess you could say. But uh, but yeah, the the book is solid. If you can pick it up, I'd encourage you to go yeah. out. Yeah, found a real purpose. Real hard earned, yeah. happily yeah. ever after. 
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.